In this video, I will show you how to design your talent job and integrate that with a Java UI portal. Whether it is an internal application or an external website, uh, you can actually uh, hook your talent job directly to that external system and extract the data in real time. So this can be uh, used for real time extraction, uh, transformation, analytical, you know, processing or any sort of you know, loading purposes in real time. So let's see how this can be done in Talent. Here is the high level architecture and the data flow diagram for our easier understanding. So in this case, um, I'm, um, I have a simple uh, HTML page along with Java scripting. Um, this web page actually accepts certain uh, data in, as input. And as soon as we click on the button, that data will be sent directly to the talent job and the chat talent job will actually do some uh, transformation and store the data into a database table. And once we have the data in the database, we know that can be easily pulled and uh, perform any uh, real time, you know, reporting purposes. So let's take a look at the web page and also the talent job and we will do the hands on as well. Here is the simple web page that I have created using HTML and there is a JavaScript piece in it uh, to you know integrate uh, talent with uh, this particular UI. So this page is um, you know simple page uh, that I built for retail um, you know subscription offers uh, wherein uh, users will be entering customer number and whether click on subscribe or unsubscribe. Uh, in order to save this data I have a database table in uh, SQL Server and this is the table name so this table contains customer number and then the status so we will be entering that customer number and click one of the operation and uh, we will check this uh, subscription status on the database table in real time okay and moving on to the talent side i have this sample job uh, in which i am creating the sql server connection in the pre job and in the main job flow, uh, I'll be making use of T REST request component. So this is one of the ESB component in Talent uh, through which you can actually create your uh, own REST endpoint, right? And also you can have your API mapping um, and you can have as many number of, uh, you know, APIs that you want to, uh, you know, create. If you look at this uh, component properties, um, uh, my REST endpoint is on my local host right and this is running on this particular port and uh, here are the two APIs that I have created in uh, this talent uh, component. The first one is a subscribe because as soon as we hit um, you know enter the customer number and hit subscribe this uh, API will be called and uh, the, it will extract the customer number and perform the database operation. So likewise uh, I have uh, created another for subs unsubscription as well. Um, this is uh, which is integrated in this particular uh, button and looking at other uh, components uh, all um, of the components that are used is just a simple you know Java uh, T Java row component I have used one for you know subscription and another for unsubscription right as soon as you create two API's here uh, you can actually pull those API links separately and I am uh, using T Java row and then uh, once this is triggered I am um, you know doing some database operation uh, using one of the context variable. So the value for this SQL uh, query is actually framed in this particular Java component right. So this is the uh, database uh, in a SQL query wherein I am updating this dim uh, subscription table with the status as subscribed for a particular customer number which is coming from the web portal. Right. So likewise, I have another um, T Java row uh, in which I am doing uh, the same update operation with the status here is unsubscribed. Right. So the SQL is uh, prepared here and uh, passed to the database uh, component, DP row component. This will go and update the database uh, table. So I'll talk about this uh, in a job and the settings uh, in detail. So before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, test this out. I'm going to you know run this uh, job and as you know uh, all the ESP components uh, in talent are real time which means um, the talent job will be keep on running uh, until you kill it 
or you can uh, set certain timeouts um, for which you know you can control the execution right so as you can see uh, the endpoint deployed is the local host and this is the port and this is the uh, endpoint right and this job will be keep on running uh, as long as you kill it so let's go back to our um, ui portal and then i will pull up uh, that sql server window also on the right hand side so that we can see uh, how it works okay so let's me let me go ahead and enter 1234 right so this 1234 customer status currently it is subscribed and let me go ahead and click on unsubscribe and let me go ahead and check it right so the status for 1234 is unsubscribed right so this is in real time and likewise uh, we will also do it for the other you know customer number which is this unsubscribe and uh, this uh, customer is also unsubscribed so likewise you click subscribe and go back to your database and it is subscribed so this is the real time integration so what we have done here is uh, we have used um, the rest client on the talent job right so that is actually an integrated in the java scripting that i have built on this uh, you know, web portal so what i have done here is uh, so this is the html um, you know page uh, that i have created right um, so what it does is it accepts uh, this number value customer number right and i have created uh, you know two buttons right subscribe and unsubscribe so for each of this i have a function created already so when you say deactivate it's a unsub unsubscribe um, i'm making a simple you know http um, request method here and the url what i'm passing is the url which is configured in our talent job right if you notice if you notice this subscribe and unsubscribe so likewise i have created those uh, urls here and i have made this customer number as a dynamic right as soon as you enter uh, the customer number uh, on the web portal so that will be read in real time you know dynamically and uh, a url is framed and uh, you know using the get uh, method um, that url will be called from this particular javascripting so this uh, function is exist for uh, one for uh, subscribe and the other one is for unsubscription and also if you notice um, the talent job is still running uh, because it's a real time right as soon as you make any entries uh, it will you know come in and uh, you know do the uh, you know call inside it so and also i have printed this statement so that uh, it is easier to understand so what it is doing is it is taking the customer uh, you know details so for example let me go ahead and you know do it like one 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 and then subscribe so as soon as that is done right a new uh, st sql statement is printed here if this customer exists uh, the status will be subs to uh, set to subscribe so likewise you can um, you know pro make any uh, sort of combination on this ui um, and perform you know even advanced uh, uh, you know features you can even uh, capture the response and then um, you know send it uh, back to the ui portal so that customer will get to know uh, okay whether my data is processed successfully or not so right now it is not showing up any message because it's a very simple application that i you know created but uh, yeah uh, this is the core idea and this can be enhanced to whatever extent you can to make it better and suit your uh, you know use case you can also do a some error handling uh, if this customer does not exist it can raise certain uh, you know uh, error message that can be you know captured as a response uh, using a t rest response component and ui can you know see that uh, you know error message so this is one of the example it's very simple example uh, for our easier and quick understanding but this can be used for any uh, reservation systems or you know insurance uh, use case or in you know, a bank or you know fraud detection or it can be uh, you know uh, customer you know sentiment analysis uh, there could be any number of you know use cases uh, wherever you have this real time you know uh, requirement uh, you can certainly make use of ESB component in talent um, for your uh, real time extraction and as soon as you create an API um, like this you, you will be getting a button here 
through which you can actually define what uh, input columns or you know fields that you are passing from your UI right if you are passing two different uh, inputs so you can have two different um, you know columns created here and once that is done uh, you can actually set for all other um, you know APIs and uh, the URI pattern should be such that um, it, the value for that new field should be coming in uh, this uh, you know fashion right uh, the subscribe slash whatever the customer number is and if you want to set any authentication you can uh, do so using this uh, use authentication um, you know uh, options here there are several other uh, you know options uh, you can actually write uh, wrap up your you know, JSON request you can log your messages and also convert your JSON into you know string um, you can play around uh, when you uh, do the hands-on so this is all required on the rest uh, you know, request component so let's move on um, the first one is the subscription so t java row what i am doing here is i have created new context variable called customer number right and there is a customer uh, context variable for sql query because that is something i am creating here so i have created these two placeholders so on the customer number is my input uh, customer number which is directly coming from the web uh, portal and uh, I am preparing SQL query here so whatever update statement you want you can actually put it here and you can parameterize the customer number and for the easier understanding I am printing uh, the SQL um, you know, statements okay that's all is required and using on component okay you can connect to a DB row component and pass this context variable um, you know here and the same update uh, statements will be passed here and executed on the database since we have the auto commit it is uh, instant as soon as the record is uh, updated um, it will make a commit and you can perform any real-time aggregation on top of it. 